Greetings and good time, dear friends and companions. Elements of the Sorcerer Wiccans, green witches, shamans, and many other sorcerers believe that all things in nature animals, plants, rocks, rivers, and hills possess a certain consciousness. This belief is referred to as animism. The inner awareness within seemingly inanimate objects enables sorcerers to use them in spellcasting. The term pantheism is sometimes used to describe certain paths within neopaganism. Often mistaken as nature worship, it actually signifies the divine consciousness present everywhere or the recognition of the divine as intertwined with the world. The root of the word pan means everywhere, and the honorable people of the earth believe that their deities are accessible in all places and at all times. This doesn't imply that sorcerers worship trees, rivers, and stones more than astronomers venerate the sun, moon, and planets. Rather, it signifies their belief that the entire world, both material and immaterial, is infused with sacred energy, and each one of us carries a spark of divine energy within. In the previous chapter, we briefly discussed the four elements. Now, let's delve deeper into their exploration. As earth, air, fire, and water are the four primary building blocks not only in the natural and material world, but also in the realm of magic. If you're intrigued by the mystical world of sorcery and wish to deepen your knowledge of the elements, don't forget to show your support by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and activating the notification bell so you stay informed about all our enchanting updates. The positive energy we share here will lead you towards a future of magical discovery and empowerment. Sparkles Unlock the secrets of the elements and embrace their mystical power. Thank you for joining us today, and we can't wait to see you in the next magical chapter.